Uh, we have some layoffs coming in for the Microsoft side of things, which and then, again, I know it's like, oh, wow, more layoffs. Didn't see that one coming out, did you? Another theme within Microsoft and major AAA gaming that layoffs have just been a serious thing within the industry. Uh, so this kind of gets sparked by friend of the channel, friend of the show here, Jesse, Jesse Bird over on Twitter, right? She recently had announced saying that uh sad, sad to announce that my role at microsoft has been eliminated so all those have been part of my team thank you and all that kind of stuff i met her back at the summer game fest when i was working at gamestop so i was like oh no not jesse we like jesse uh, i think from her correctly she was hosting like a kind of like a inside business inside microsoft business type of show if i remember correctly she worked within halo in the capacity as well more of the marketing side of things if i remember correctly as well great person super nice you know an employee that a lot of people think are lucky to have and it's a shame she got let go but then tom warren one of our favorite little news boys over here on Twitter saying more Microsoft layoffs happening this week. Microsoft laid off Jesse while she was on vacation. Yeah, she was on vacation and got laid off, dude. It's like rough, man. How many how many more do we need to how many more do we need to deal with here, right? And then Tom Henderson said the same thing as well, right? And Tom Henderson's information is pretty legit as well when it comes to like more insider information stuff saying another round of layoffs hit Microsoft, right? Uh through the past 24 hours, several people have taken to social media to announce they have been uh, faced with layoffs at Microsoft. Uh, currently unclear the exact number that's affected or if they are part of the 1500 estimated to be laid off in June. Instead of gaming fa has found four people announcing their departure from the company. He kind of just quoted the uh, people he found on Twitter as well. But layoffs, especially for Microsoft, would be around this time because, like I said earlier, you know, the fiscal year rollover just happened. They also say earlier this year, Microsoft announced said to be laying off uh, 1900 employees. At the company in May of 2024, it was announced that Microsoft would shut down four studio game studios, including Tango Gameworks and Austin, Arcane Austin. So Microsoft is just like, they keep having been the dealer of bad news right there. Again, I think it's just, it's it's kind of layoff season right now for Microsoft, which is a terrible thing the way to put it, but it's kind of true. Because like I said earlier, like the Microsoft fiscal year rollover happens at the end of June, right? So technically we're in fiscal, fiscal year 25 for Microsoft. And that's when you would see people being let go, new budgets being worked out, new head counts being put together and being activated, right? Yeah, it just kind of sadly all lines up like that, right? But it also is pretty standard around this time as well for Microsoft to do a round of layoffs, but they kind of come in with like the layoffs they did earlier in the year and earlier again in the year, right? Especially in the gaming side of things and also in the company as a whole. As well as like 10,000 people got laid off back in uh, January of 2023, if I remember correctly. And Microsoft, and that's where 343 got their cuts of like 90, plus people got let go from 343 three during that time it's just it's so rough man and you lose so much experience so much knowledge when it comes to providing good products for people right it's it's, it's hard to, it's hard to see it you hate to see it happen man let's see how many layoffs have happened there was a wikipedia page about the whole thing gaming industry layoffs from 23 to 24 right I haven't seen this since like January, so let's see what the, what the update has been on this so far. Well, yeah, January still had the biggest one of like 6,000 people laid off. Then you had February, still keeping it in the hundreds, right? With March, April had over a thousand. May, there's just been layoff, 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 layoff layoffs. And now July is having more layoffs as well. Uh, no word, I don't think, really on the total scale of uh, layoffs that are coming. Maybe there's some information coming here. Right, so like you can see like right here, just for the month of June, right? Avalanche Studios announced that they had to lay off 50 people, approximately 9% of the company's workforce. Uh, June 4th, uh, Behavior Interactive had laid up the 95 developers. Now on 11th, Sumo Games had to lay off 15% of their staff as well. Like it's just been, just it's been a lot of layoffs, man. Like the, the, the directors out there had did not plan properly when it came to, you know, how gaming was gonna look in the, you know, five year roadmap kind of thing. But yeah, and then our 1500 people getting laid off from Microsoft. That's just not even gaming though. That's just Microsoft in general. But you know, they, they gotta find a way to be able to afford these like multi-billion dollar acquisitions, right?